This is Brianna Rutter from HowToBlackHair.com and I will be teaching you how to do jumbo individual braids. To begin, make sure that you are taking your bundles of hair and you're actually feathering the ends. What this means is you're letting the hairs look tapered so that way your braids don't end with a blunt cut ending. Now take your rat tail comb and you're going to part a big section of a square part on your head because these braids are jumbo sized. Make sure you're using a water tooth comb to detangle through your hair to free any knots and tangles. And also use gel to help your hair to lay slick as you are braiding your hair. Now take a large amount of section of braiding hair and you're going to grab the smaller piece and wrap it over the larger piece to create three equal legs of your braid. Take your dominant hand and position it on one leg of your braid and then take your other hand to insert it through and hold the other two legs. Now take your dominant hand and twirl it underneath. Open your pincher finger and your thumb to pinch one leg of your braid because this pincher finger and thumb is what's going to grab your real hair so that you can create your jumbo braids. At this point, you're going to use your other hand to hold all of your hair together so that way you can effectively pinch the hair onto one leg of your braiding hair for your braid. At this point, take your other hand and make sure that you're holding one leg to the side and then slightly twirl your hand to the left side so you can make a little opening and scoop that with your index finger. So now at this point, the left hand has two legs of braid and the right hand has one. Now since the left hand has two legs, it's going to twirl to the left to open it up and then you're going to grab the hair there that's in the middle. And you're going to keep going back and forth to repeat this process so that you can create your jumbo braid. So once again, you're going to twirl the other hand so you can create a little opening and then you're going to insert the index finger. As you can see, it's being done back and forth, back and forth because at one point your left hand may have two legs of a braid and then at another point your right hand may have two legs of a braid. So now the style is becoming just a little bit more of a normal pace so that you can see the natural progression of these jumbo individual braids. Also, the best way to learn how to braid your hair is not only by watching this tutorial, but by also doing it as you are watching it. So as you are watching this, I highly suggest that you do the exact same movements that you see here to create the braid. You're going to continue to wrap one leg over the other even as you near the bottom to complete your braid. So now we're going to move on to our second braid and you're going to make sure to pinch off a small amount of hair wrapped around a bigger portion and then you're going to position the hair into your fingers as you see here. Now as you're braiding, make sure that you're doing the exact same technique. Grab all of your real hair with your other hand. Open up your pincher finger and your thumb to grab your real hair. And then begin by making sure one leg is to the side so that you can twist your right hand. Insert the index of that hand to scoop up the braid that's there in the middle. So that way each leg is being grabbed one at a time every time you rotate hands. So the hands were rotated now because now my left hand has two legs and then now I just grab the middle leg with the other hand and you're just going to continue working your way back and forth. So now that you've braided all of your braids, you're going to make sure to seal the end of your braids with hot water. By hot water sealing the ends of your braid, it prevents them from unraveling and it makes the ends of the braids tighter so that your braids last longer without unraveling. So at this point, you're going to lower the tips of your braids into the water and you do not have to submerge all of your braids because you only need to do the tips. Now make sure you already have your dry towel right there ready to assist you in catching the hot water. And then after you dry, clip off any unnecessary ends so that way your braids look very neat and even. This is the finished result of the Jumbo Individual Braids hairstyle. Also, these are the jumbo braids into a large braided bun because you can do a variety of looks with this hairstyle. You could also make sure to grab your colored braids and wrap it around your black braids so that way when you're incorporating color, it looks very seamless and beautiful.
You could also braid what I like to call the infinity braid or the forever braid because you don't know where it ends. And to simply do this, you braid a braid along the perimeter of your head and then you grab the tail end and tuck it into itself and then use a bobby pin so that it doesn't unravel. So when you're done wearing your style and you're ready to take it down, you're simply going to cut well below where your real hair ends and you're going to unravel by hand. Now if you're afraid to cut your braids out of fear of cutting your real hair, there's no issue with that at all because instead of cutting, you can just start at the very tips and unravel with your fingers all the way up so that you are 100% sure that you don't accidentally cut your hair. Thanks for watching the Jumbo Individual Braids hairstyle. For updates on new hairstyling tutorials, follow me on Instagram at Brianna Rudder.